we dig, the more complaints we uncover about that used car lot. Good evening. Very glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jacqueline Allen. Tonight, Contact 7's Jason Grinauer reports this lawsuit is not the first legal battle the dealer has taken on and probably won't be the last. We'll be seeking to punish this dealership because that's what the law allows and that's what the law demands. Attorney Ian Hicks heard the complaints Contact 7 has been digging into against the sharpest rides and is now taking them to court. They are knowingly selling vehicles with hidden defects. They are manipulating and tampering with vehicles to make it look like they don't have defects. His lawsuit was filed early today. His claim is that the dealership misrepresents the cars on its website and sells customers anything but. They don't say we have good cars. They say we have the best cars in Denver, the best quality, the most reliable. That's false. I just don't want them to think that they can step on me just like they have so many others. Katie Knowlton bought a BMW from the sharpest rides. She's now one of more than 100 complaints to come into contact seven. Her car broke down while driving on the freeway with her young daughter in the passenger seat. In the middle of traffic, middle of the day, middle of the snowstorm, probably going 60 miles an hour at that point for it to just stop. She and her attorney, Jerry Bowman, filed suit against the dealership in April. Fraud, violation of the Colorado Consumer Protection Act, um, breach of contract, um, misrepresentation. They're currently in arbitration awaiting a hearing date. Dealerships cannot prey on these unsuspecting victims. They can't just misrepresent facts about the condition of a vehicle, and it seems like this specific company is doing that often. We said that they defrauded her uh, and uh, we also said that it was defective at the time of the sale. Lawyer Matthew Osborne won his arbitration case against the sharpest rides back in 2015. The arbitrator agreed it was defective and they had to take the car back. Getting his client a full refund. We proved that the sharpest rides is willfully blind to the car's history. We took the claims and issues of those three separate legal cases with possibly more to come to the one dealership in question. I can't comment on something that I don't know about. Okay. Well, we. So, as soon as I find out about this, I'll figure it out. Okay. okay. What about John the other Rogers, legal? Any, anything about the other legal well, why issues? Why would I speak with about any legal issues with the media? It's something that needs to be done in court. And if these attorneys get their way, they will be discussed in court. We're definitely going to fight this. They're going to they're going to pay back for what they did to people. I promise you that. Now, one question we've received multiple times is, could the state step in and do something here? Now, the Motor Vehicle Dealer Board, which is the authority over dealerships in the state, only has the ability to discipline a dealer if they sell and don't disclose vehicles' damages from a prior crash, fire, flood, or hail. They do not have the authority, however, to do anything about vehicles sold with mechanical problems like breaking down within a few days or having recurring repair needs. According to them, the only avenue that those customers have is a civil lawsuit. Civil mm -hmm. lawsuit. Jason, nice work. More to come, I'm sure, on yes. this story. Thank you.